The setting is cardiac rehab, and this is a patient's first appointment. The intake process requires an interview with the nurse, then the patient meets the rest of the team. Together, goals are created and a plan of care is established. Two scenarios will be shown. The first with ineffective team communication with potential harm to the patient caused, and the other with effective professional collaboration. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm right over here, sir. Have a seat, thank you. All right, what do we have here? All right, we got William. Uh, he had a heart attack three weeks ago and Billy. had- Billy? I'm sorry, Billy. But he first, so he called Billy. I okay. got um, it. And he has two stents placed. Uh, he has had some weight loss goals. He didn't, he didn't really say what he wanted to do there. Um, but his blood pressure is normal, and he's got a resting, uh, steady resting a, a of 85 heart rate. Uh, we have Billy over there. Um, his baseline telemetry um, is just normal, sinus. His heart looks weird. What does it normally look like? He has an abnormal T. I don't know. Okay. Is he on any? Is he on a beta blocker? Mm. Mm. I think so. Uh, metropolol. Something. Mr. Moore. Yes. I'm Erica, the exercise physiologist here. Okay. All right, I understand you have some weight loss goals. Yeah, I think you're losing weight. All right, if you can join me over here on the scale behind this column that's hiding and we're gonna take a look at where we're starting. All right, come on down. All right, let's meet over here on the treadmill. Treadmill? Yeah. This did we not say we're walking you today? No. All right, so today we're supposed to give you a six minute walk on the treadmill. We're just trying to see how your heart responds to activity. Did you not know you were exercising today? No, I, I just thought let we, you know. No, I thought we'd just come in and do some paperwork. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, let's go into the treadmill. All right, still feeling all right? Yeah. Okay. Are you telemetry? What what's his heart rate? It's 92. He was 92 last time. What is he now? 92. All right, coming up nicely. You're breathing hard. How are you feeling? You short of breath. Okay, nurse green sign. Green sign. He's in a fib. Huh? He's in a fib. It's one a fib 25. Okay, let me stop you. All right, all right. I'm gonna have you sit down. All right, where we met over here. You all right? How you feeling? My chest hurts. Your chest hurts? All right, we may need to get you to the nitro. Yeah. Why do you have nitro? I told him, the nurse said I had this for emergencies. You have angina? Yeah. Nurse? Nurse? You never mentioned that he has angina. Okay. Um, I didn't know that he did have it. All right. We need to call the doctor. He's in AFib, 1.5. Okay, I'll call the doctor. Um, Jackson? Yes. Hi, Dr. Jackson. Yeah, I have patient William Moore. Birthday, October 17th, 1970. Mm -hmm. He is three weeks post-MI in stent and has come for his first cardiac rehab appointment. 
Yeah, he tolerated the first five minutes of the six minute walk. Barely made it right. I, okay, I, I get that. I get that. He, did, he didn't make it right. But he didn't make it five minutes. Like, okay, yeah, at the, oh, so he didn't make it the six minute walk, okay? But at the end, he appeared to switch from sinus rhythm to AFib 125. He's feeling a little shortness of breath as we expected, but no chest pain. He has chest pain and it's aging. Oh, he used the nitro. Okay, I told you I forgot that part. Okay. Please have him resume 200 milligrams of something tonight and I will get him in the office tomorrow. I have an opening tomorrow at 11 a.m. Please, pl please send him home. Remind him if he doesn't feel better by tonight or tomorrow, just send him to the yard. ER. All right. All right, Billy. Um, so it looks like you're all right. Just keep taking whatever you're taking, um, and we'll just see you next time, okay? All right, have a good weekend, okay? Cool. Nice to see that you had a great weekend. All right, if you don't mind having a seat right there for me. Thank you, I'm just gonna come over here and talk with the nurse. Hey, hey. okay, so we have, um, the patient here is Mr. Moore. He goes by Billy. He had a heart attack three weeks ago and had two stents placed. Okay, um, he does have some resi residual angina from a small vessel that could not that they could not reach. Um, the pain is irritating with activity and goes away with rest. He carries nitro in his uh, pocket just in case. Um, he has a history of hypertension, elevated cholesterol, and arthritis in his right knee. Um, it especially has been giving him problems since the weather cools off. I hear that's a pain. His goals are to increase his stamina so that he can return to playing golf. And of course, just to clear that blockage using exercise and medicine to get rid of that chest pain. Uh, he also has come for some weight loss goals. Uh, he's hoping to lose about 10% of his current weight before the end of his sessions. His blood pressures are normal and his HR is resting his resting HR is steady at 85. Okay. Uh, so we have Dr. Moore, Mr. Moore over there. Uh, his baseline telemetry is normal sinus with an abnormal T. It appears to be prolonged. Okay. Is he on the beta blocker? Yes, great question. Um, he is on 50 milligrams of metoprolol. So his heart rate may not reach expected peak. Hey, Mr. Moore. Hello. I'm Erica, one of the exercise physiologists here. How are you doing? Good. All right. I understand that you had a heart attack three weeks ago. Yes. And two stents placed. Yes. How have you been feeling since then? Uh, nervous, but I feel okay. Okay. There's no need to be nervous. We're going to do a six minute walk today. So not much for exercise. We're gonna go over to the treadmill and just see how you stroll. See what your heart does for six minutes. It is not a stress test. It should be nice and easy. Before we do that though, I wanna get your weight on the scale. So it's hiding behind the column here. Let's walk together and get your weight real quick. I understand you have goals of weight loss. Mm, I can lose a little bit. <laughs> That's a common goal for many patients. All right, on um, here for me. Come on down. All right, we're gonna go over to the treadmill. All right, Mr. Moore, next to you is Nurse Green sign here, and he's watching your heart. Um, what is this heart rate? It is 92. 92. How are you feeling? I'm out of breath. All of a sudden, my heart's going fast. All right, I'm gonna stop it. All right, you made it five minutes. We're gonna stop it here, and I want you to have a seat where we met here. What do you see? At first, he had pre at first he had frequent PDC, but it looks like he is an AFib. AFib 125. 125. All right, thank you. Okay. 
Mr. Moore. I'm gonna let your nurse know that you're feeling pretty bad, all right? Mr. Moore is in AFib 125, and he's feeling pretty bad. Okay, I will let Dr. Jackson know. Dr. Jackson. Hi, Dr. Jackson. I have patient William Moore, birthday 10 1770. Yeah, today's his birthday. Okay, yeah, he is three weeks post MI in stint and has come for his first cardiac rehab appointment. Yeah, he tolerated the first five minutes of the six minutes, but at the end, he appeared to switch from sinus rhythm to AFib 125. He is feeling short of breath as expected, but no chest pain. I sent telestrips to your facts. Uh-huh. Okay, all his blood pressure's running fine? Yes. Okay, please have him resume 200 milligrams of amiodarone tonight, and I will get him into the office tomorrow. I have an opening about 11 a.m. Please send him home. Remind him if he feels any worse between tonight or tomorrow. Do not hesitate to go to the ER. Okay, so 200 milligrams of amiodarone. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, Mr. Moore. So the doctor wants you to continue to take those 200 milligrams of amiodarone. You do have an appointment tomorrow at 11, and we will see how you're feeling the next time we visit, okay? All right. 